Hey everyone, this is the Noble Artist here, and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use slash how to make the fabric that I used when I made my customs. Now I made a tutorial on how to make the Django Fett style blaster holster. I will post a link to that video if you haven't seen it already. Post a link right here in the middle, you can go check that out. So in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly what fabric I use, how I use it, how I prep it in order to use it for my customs. So in order to do this, um, you might need to get some fabric if you don't already have it then this video will help you out trying to figure out what you should use. I don't know what that is, I don't know why I'm scratching at it. <clears throat> so, I normally get my fabric at Michael's. You can get it at Michael's, you can get it at AC Moore. Walmart might have it, they're kind of eh on their fabrics. So, you pretty much just need a type of fabric that can be cut. It can be, you know, as thin as, some of this stuff is like, like a sheet or like a pillowcase type material, it's very thin. So this right here I got for Christmas a long time ago. I've had it for a, well, actually a long time. Um, but it does come in different patterns, shapes, and all that stuff. Now this stuff can be used just with the, the pattern. I, <clears throat> if you haven't seen it, I made some Samurais not too long ago. Actually, I take that back. It was years ago, but um, the video I posted not too long ago because uh, I had to repost all my videos. And fortunately, one of my Samurai videos I managed to save. So I'll put a link of that right here also in the middle. If you want to go check that out. You can see how I, I use the fabric without actually painting it. And I use this material and I use the, the shape and pattern that's already on it. And some of this stuff is pretty cool. Like this right here, camo. If you ever want to do something camo and you didn't want to paint it, uh, that can be used as that. This stuff right here can be used for samurais or knights or um, those kind of figures. Obviously some of this stuff you probably wouldn't want to use. Um, just plain, kind of a bandana. But you could. So that's there. Um, I will show you guys what I do to it and how I use it. So, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I don't really know how much this costs. This stuff is fairly cheap. I don't know if each one of these... <clears throat> sorry, they might cost a dollar or so each. And I'll try to take one of these out. This right here is... I'm not going to unfold it all the way, but... Okay, I might unfold it all the way. This one right here, that's a lot of fabric. And this is keeps unfolding and it would easily cover this whole table just one of these and I have like five I think there's five there and I've been using the same one for a long time so this is a very good resource because it does last a long time so this right here I used this is uh, music notes and one thing I like I like about this one is because I paint it black if I do miss a spot or mess up you won't be able to see it as well because it's black Again, I didn't buy these. I got these as a gift. So if I found something that was pure black, that would be even better. But I didn't. So what you're going to do, I will, instead of showing you how I do it, I'm just going to tell you because I'm holding my camera and it's kind of hard to do it. But I can paint a pretty good picture for you guys. <laughs> uh, pun intended. So I'll just explain it to you as best I can and you will understand what to do. So now the fabric itself is kind of fray. Um, it frays a lot. As you can see, this is where it was cut in the past, and sorry, it's kind of falling because it's, there's a lot here. As you can see, if my hand, I can just pull it in, it frays, and nobody wants that. And the ends get all tattered, uh, messed up, and that goes falling again. But yes, you do not want this because this is going to look very terrible on your customs, unless you purposely like make like a battle damage cape or something like that. You don't want this to happen. So that's why I paint everything. So when you paint it, right like so, you can see when I cut it, these are all straight edges. And yes, granted, this side, I, I think I tried to paint this side. Actually, I didn't really paint that side. It doesn't matter. You only really need one side painted. Um, as you can see, that it is straight. So then when you cut it, I'm going to try to cut something here. Boop. Just like so. You can see how it doesn't fray at all. See, I'm trying to fray it. It frayed a little bit right there, but um, it doesn't fray as easy. And it's a straight cut across, and if you don't mess it up like I just tried to do, then it should be nice. And it's easy to move. It makes it, it adds some texture to it. It gives it some stiffness, which is good because um, it's not like cardboard. It doesn't make it crazy. As you can see, like it's still, you know, pretty malleable. Um, so that's what... <clears throat> that's what I do and I do use apple barrel paint if you want to use the paint that I use this is water-based paint very very cheap it's a dollar or two again you can get this at Michaels 
and I've had the same black paint for I don't know how many years and it's probably like up to here there's a lot in here um, so this paint you can pretty much do whatever like I could safely dump this all over my table all over my customs all over my tools all over my computer and once it dries as you can see it dries it's in the lid right here and like it just scratches off so but the good thing is with your customs when you use it it does stay to plastic fairly easy and as long as you don't like like purposely try to scratch it off it will stay uh, on there like I did on this custom but I'm just saying that that this is a safe paint to use um, for younger kids and people who aren't the best at painting and are trying to get better it's a good practice paint because you can you can mess up and get it on your clothes and it will wash out so you will take this paint um, get your fabric like so now I'm holding my camera so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and I'm just gonna explain it but take something like a piece of paper put it down on your your table or wherever you're gonna be working and then place your fabric on top of it okay and then take your black paint and put uh, put like a drizzle just like run it along the side like you can use a lot of this actually it, it goes a long way um, so just drizzle your paint here um, and then take a paintbrush if you have a big one uh, I don't have a big paintbrush I don't have any paintbrushes actually mm. anyway you're gonna take your paintbrush and I suggest like let's say you you just want to do a section of it because this took me a while this is like a lot of prep if you just want to do a section of it put your paint like start it at one point okay and then just work your way down to the edge so that way you can go off the edge like this and, and get the, the corners um, get the edge nicely so just start from one side and just paint across use a wide paintbrush if you can or a smaller one and just go all the way across um, if you need to add more paint you can but this paint for some reason I don't know why you put a little bit and it just goes forever so this took me not very much paint at all um, and then once you do that, you sh it should look like this. It takes, um, depends on how much you use and it is soaked into this fabric. It might take, you know, five to 10 minutes to, to completely dry. And if you want, you can flip it over, do the reverse side. That's optional. I don't just because I decide will be glued to the figure and you won't, you won't actually see it. So it doesn't really matter, um, if it's painted or not. So that's how I do that. And because you put something underneath, the paint will seep through this as you can see how it is coming through the back side so that's why if you, it's nice to put something down because I don't want to get a bunch of paint on my table granted it is you can wash it off but might as well throw a piece of paper away than trying to clean up everything and and that wouldn't be good so this is pretty much how I use this guys this is the fabric that I use for everything this is the same fabric I use to make the holster same fabric I use uh, to put around the knee pads to emulate the the undersuit of the clone and it's the same fabric I use for my commas and the pauldron up there on the shoulder and the neck guard I can get this guy's head off and the neck guard that I put around him so this fabric I use for a lot I use it also for the, uh, the bandolier so yeah it custom has one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten about ten pieces of fabric on this figure so it's used a lot in my customs and I hope this helps you guys know what kind of fabric to use how to prep it how to paint it um, doesn't have to be black by the way I've made this with maroon any other color that goes good with this actually this fabric is painted brown just however much you want just paint it I just it's easier to start with black and then paint it other colors because black covers a lot and it's just easier to work with so um, that's it guys whoo kind of winded um, let me know if you guys understood that if you need me to show you more about it please let me know in the comments below um, another little update I don't know why I think someone said they wanted me to make them agree so I already have two helmets painted here I'm going to make two grease they will be posted on eBay soon this guy is going to be on eBay today so when you watch this video this is going to be on eBay my next actual custom that you guys haven't seen yet because you guys have seen Gree. Um, is actually going to be one of these blue um, guards, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to try to start that hopefully tonight if I can. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Um, let me know what next tutorial you want to see, and I'll do my best to put it out there. Shoutouts to go up in this corner. If you like it, hitch, hike it. God bless.